just a quick video tutorial on how to set up uh, some damage inside the Arachna Z uh, game build. Uh, so normally what what I would suggest doing is um, doing a collision box, a cast into the player and then uh, setting their health. But the way that the damage is set up in the Arachna Z build is like slightly different. So we'll try it the first way. Um, so all we're going to do is right click, choose um, a new actor blueprint. We're just going to call it BP underscore damage. And I'm just going to drop this into the, the level by default. So from there, I'm just going to open up. I'm going to double click on BP damage just so we can make some changes there. So the first thing we're going to get is just a box collision. Just click on add component. And I'm just going to scale this up real quick. And then with that selected, I'm just going to untick uh, hidden in game and compile. Um, so the reason for that being is it's a little bit easier to debug now that we can see uh, the collision um, in game just to make sure you know we're definitely in there. Um, so from there with box with the box collider clicked, I'm just going to flick over to the event graph. Um, I'm going to get rid of these because I won't be using them, uh, but you can just leave them there. So with box collision um, ticked on, I'm just going to scroll down here on the right hand side. And you can see I've got an event here I can call on component begin overlap. You can also right click and call it this way. Um, so from there, I'm going to say, is it another actor? And we're going to cast to hero character because we know that's the name of the character. So what I would normally suggest here is like, what I would normally do is I would get um, the health. And then I would normally drag off there and I would set the health. And then I do some maths here. So I drag off and say minus and feed in an integer. Um, so just for a test, we'll do 10 and set it. So in theory now, this should work. Um, so on begin overlap, cast the hero character, and then we'll, we'll get their health, take 10 off it, and then set their health to be the new value. Um, so if we hit play and we run inside, uh, you can see it's not it's not actually working. Um, the reason for that being the the health system in the Arachna Z build is set up like a little bit different. So if I just flick over here and we're going to open up the hero character. I'll just talk you through what it's doing. Um, so you notice there's a section here in the middle of the blueprint called take damage. And what happens here is the um, event any damage is how we're actually dealing it so we're feeding damage in this way and then that's running an update help function so the easiest way for us to tap into this is to call on the same the same type of event which is an apply damage um, so basically anytime you apply damage to the actor it's going to fire off this set of nodes um, so we can really quickly just change this um, so we don't need this anymore and uh, we can say apply damage and for the damage actor we just want to plug in our hero character and we're going to apply 10 oh, typo so 10 hit compile and then play and now you can see it happens um, so in terms of your levels this could be used for like loads of different events it could be like maybe you've got like some fire in your level or maybe you've got like some gas there and you want to gradually apply that um or you just so at the minute this will just apply it once and that's it but we might want to have it that it repeatedly does it um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on my box collider as well and i'm just going to set up an event for on component end overlap and i'm just going to duplicate that doing control and w i'm just going to wire this in okay um so what we can do here is we can make a custom event and we'll call a uh, drain health and this is what drain health is going to do so then we can disconnect that 
and we can call drain health right after this. So now what's going to happen is whenever we step in, it's going to call this custom event and that's what it's going to do. So you see it's working exactly the same way. Um, and the reason I've set it up like this is we can, rather than just call that once, we can say whenever you step into this box, we want to actually just start a, a timer. Um, so we can go set timer by event. It's asking us which event do you want to do? We're going to say we want to do this one, which is drain health. And time is how long you wait before executing it. Um, so we're going to say every two seconds and I'm going to reduce the damage down to, we'll say maybe two. So what should happen now when we step in, I'm just going to take on Lipin, sorry. Um, what should happen now when we step in, it'll start this timer and it'll constantly run this. It'll just run this in a nice repeated loop. So you notice, I'm just going to stop it, stop it because it's, uh, it's going to keep going on. Um, so you notice straight away that that works fine, but the downside is whenever we step out of the box, it just keeps work, it keeps, it keeps draining off energy. Um, so what, let's set this just to be a lower amount so it calls it more frequently, and I'll actually set it to one. So we'll go 0.5, we'll set it to one damage. Um, so what we can do here is we can actually drag off this return value and we can tell it to clear and invalidate timer by handle. And that'll get called whenever we step out of the box. Okay, so whenever we leave that overlap now, it'll clear and invalidate that, that timer so it'll stop draining the health. So if we step in, step out, everything's fine. So yeah, it's a little bit different than how you would do for different game builds, um, but just due to the way that the Arachna Z is set up, this way works handier. Um, so all we got, box collision, make sure it's a player. From there, we're dragging off the hero character and doing an apply damage. And then right after that, we're just saying like, we want to set timer by event, and we're going to set it to loop. And then whenever we leave the box, it's just going to clear and invalidate that timer. Um, so hopefully that kind of gives like, people a little bit more flexibility in terms of stuff they're doing. So that could be a, um, like a portion of your level that's got gas in it, or maybe it has like fire in it. And you don't want the player to be able to stand in there forever. Or maybe you want to, you want to force the player to get out of there as quick as you can. And you can just set it to constantly drain the health.